Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is about five to eight and I'll be starting work very shortly. Um, it's a bit cloudy and overcast today. Um, I think we'll probably spend the morning hanging out here, playing with the boxes in the garden and what have you. I've got Ozzy, Harrison, uh, Finn and Thomas. So I think we'll try and spend a lot of time outside. That always works quite well, but I don't think we're going to go very far because I've got a lot of children. So yeah, you know, it's, it could be a bit tricky to get out and about. Um, and then hopefully the after school is, hopefully it'll be nice for the park after school. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, the days go so much quicker and everyone's so happier if we can be outside. And I have missed that through the winter. I don't mind cold so much, but it's just so wet in the UK. <laughs> in the winter, it rains a lot. So it's nice that we're getting some dry weather and can enjoy being outside. I am going to just do a few of these things. I'm going to put the dishwasher on, make a cup of tea. Kenzie already brought me up a nice cup of tea this morning, but I feel the need for um, another cup. Um, I'm not actually very hungry, but I really should eat something, I suppose, but I'm not hungry at all. Um, I think those fish and chips yesterday filled me up because I've woken up still feeling quite full. Um, and I've got some rubbish here I need to get rid of that is lurking on the side, I can see it. People seem to think that spot there is a recycling dumping spot rather than, you know, either emptying the recycling bin or taking it to the recycling bin. Drives me crazy. Anyway, I'm going to get ready for the kids coming. See you in a minute. <laughs> Right. Oh, so close to walking. So close. <laughs> so close. So close, I reckon. I don't know. This weekend. This weekend, I reckon. I reckon. <laughs> You're so keen to go. Your friends will be here soon. Not bags again. Let me go get your tissue. Are you doing snot bags? Oh no! Oh no, she's gonna blow my nose. I don't like it. Oh, good boy for letting me do it. Well done. Good boy. Look. Rowling. Dinosaur. Ra. Ra. Dragon for dinner. Let's move this bit of bird seed because I know what you'll do. You'll try and eat it. Give that back to the birds. You know you want to. Go on. Ready? 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 Oh, you're so good. You're so good. You're ready. Are you ready? You're ready. Go on. Go on. <laughs> Go on. So close. So so close. Who's at my door? Stop! Stop! Why don't you say hi to him? Hi. 
Hi. <laughs> He's so happy to see you, look. Do you want me to help you up so you can say hi properly? Do you want to give him a hug? Yeah. Come on then, give him a hug. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's so happy to see you, Finn. Oh, no, he's my friend. He's my friend. <laughs> hey, wait, you come back here and talk to me. <laughs> How exciting. Finn, I need more hugs. I need more cuddles, Finn. <laughs> Give him a squidge. He wants to see you. <laughs> I am big. Well, I know, but he likes you. Look, he just wants to give you a big hug. My friend Finn's arrived. He's so excited. Oh, mind his face, poor Finn. <laughs> what are you make? What are you making there, Thomas? I'm making silly boats for Moana. Moana's boat. And that's his fish hook. Oh, is this fish hook? And, and you've got the boat. And that's Moana on the boat. Oh, Moana <laughs> on the boat. I and like it. On top of his head. I like it. That's a good picture. The pond needs a bit of a top up because the reeds are not in water anymore. In fact, the whole thing probably needs a bit of a dredge and a redo. What a morning. It's only 11 o'clock and I've got half the children inside and half the children outside because Ozzy is just really cross today, really cross. And he's upsetting Thomas and Finn with his screaming. So I said to the boys, right, you go inside because Ozzy's better outside than actually the screaming. I know the neighbors probably think I'm murdering him, but screaming is easier for me to handle if we're outside. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't quite resonate off all the walls. So I don't know what's going on. I've changed his nappy. His nappy was pretty horrid, I have to say. So I don't know if he's teething again, but of course, because I had to strip him off because his nappy was so bad. Oh my goodness, you thought I was killing him. The poor boy was very cross with me. So I don't know what's going on, but he's not a happy chappy. Um, Harrison is fine. He's been enjoying exploring. He's in a really good mood, but I think he's starting to get tired. I would like him to go for another hour though, if possible. So we're gonna, I'll bring lunch forward and see if I can get some food into him. And then I can maybe, if we get to sort of 12-ish, put him down for a nap. But ideally I'd like him to sleep at the same time as everybody else. Cause I feel like I just need to be somewhere else while everyone sleeps at the same time. You know, just go sit in my room and read and have a bit of me time for half an hour today. <laughs> I mean, I know I do that most days but I really feel like I need it today. So I'm gonna make a cup of tea. I can hear him still shouting. I've just, I've just come in and I thought I need a cup of tea. So he's just gonna to have to yell, I'm afraid. It's so hard, it is so hard. You just don't know what to do to make it better. He's currently in a good mood with a bug, aren't you Oz? Currently in a good mood with a bug. These boys are doing their own thing. Unfortunately, I've kind of had to just let them get on with it, bless them. You right in there? They seem happy playing their own thing for a bit. What's the matter? Uh, we're not going in, Oz, I'm afraid. Sorry. Yeah, they've had enough of the shouting, I'm afraid. You're going to come and play, in, uh, play out here? Come and play out here? You've eaten, haven't you? Have you eaten? Harrison! Are you watching them? Are you watching what the boys are doing? Hey! Oh! Tickle, tickle, tickle! You're tickling your friend, we go tickle, 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 tickle! Tickle, 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 tickle! Tickle, 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 tickle! tickle, 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 tickle. Ozzy's playing with a big bug. Big bug. Uh, not on the door, please. Thank you. 
Are you watching what the big boys are doing? <laughs> Tickle, tickle, tickle. We got some sunshine coming out, Oz. Yeah. Clouds are moving. Ah. Ah. Show everyone your croissant. No, oh, look. Yum, yum, yum. yum. <laughs> you cheered up a bit, haven't you? For now. Right, they're going to come out for a play for a bit. Come on then, out you come. Out you come, boys, for a little bit. Seem to have like a dinosaur storage unit going on here. Well, aren't you having a lovely time in the rain? Oh, I've just realised your raggy was with you. Oops. He's raggy. Look, in his mouth, he's just picked it up. That's going to need to go in the wash. Oopsie! Oopsie! I'll see if I can find you a different rag and get that one washed in the wash. Worn out. Absolutely cream crackered. Um, I've got Spanish beans and I've mixed it with uh, some tomato, some pepper, raw pepper and spring onions. I think I'm coming down with a cold as well. I thought this last night and, and I don't know if it's just, well, I don't know, I just feel like I'm coming down with a bit of a cold. My nose is a bit runny and what have you. Um, look at this hair. I'm going to go and wash this after I've eaten. Um, I have put everybody down before sleeps. Harrison's virtually gone. He's exhausted. Ozzy isn't screaming, but I don't think he's going to sleep at the moment. And... Um, Finn and Thomas are watching some CBeebies. Mm. It's quite nice. This is um, Heinz Creations. So you can get the microwave rice, but this is microwave Spanish beans. It's really tasty. Mm -hmm. But I felt like I was getting shaky because I had a banana and a yogurt for breakfast and I literally have not had two minutes to myself to get a snack. Um, you saw that I did um, make myself a cup of tea and go for a wee. That was the only break I've had all morning and it's now half 12. Um, so yeah, I have been full on, full on. The noise in the garden didn't deter our friendly dove that comes down to visit each day. Uh, he still came down and picked up leftover bits of food that the kids had dropped on the floor. So I think he's learned that actually, if you ignore the noise, nothing bad's going to happen to him. We're not going to do anything to him, but he does get fed. So if he can tolerate the noise of the shouting, then he can come and get some good food. So <laughs> Good on him, I say. Right, I'm going to write these diaries for Ozzy and Harrison. And then, and I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna make a cup of tea and I'm gonna go and do my hair. I have washed my hair. I feel better for having washed and straightened my hair. Gave me half an hour to myself. <laughs> um, Ozzy's still asleep. Finn's not asleep, I thought he would be. Thomas never has a sleep, but he was happily watching telly. And I think Harrison's woken up by the sound of it, but he is in there with the boys. His buggy's in with the boys. So I think he's watching a bit of telly with them. So unless he's unhappy, I'm just going to enjoy another possibly 20 minutes to myself. Um, if I can get away with it. It looks like it might rain this afternoon. We did have some rain, as you saw with Harrison playing in the, in the rain. Um, I've put all his stuff in the washing machine and his raggy that you saw he had got that was covered in muck and what have you. So that's all in the tumble dryer now, drying, um, so that I'm not sending it home absolutely filthy. Um, yeah, I'm hoping we can get to the park. I am hoping we can get to the park. It doesn't chuck it down again too much. If it's just showers, I don't mind. I'm definitely feeling coldy. Definitely feeling coldy. Oh yeah, we had a message come through. So a village, probably about 15 minutes from here. Um, this week, 
there was an attempted abduction of a two-year-old. Uh, two people working together, one person sitting on a bench, minding her own business. Then another person comes in a bit later with dogs, comes into the actual play park area with these dogs. Somebody obviously then goes over and says, you're not meant to bring your dogs into the play park. And while he's talking to this woman, the other woman comes along and tries to encourage the dogs out of the park. Um, at the same time, trying to entice a small child out of the park, saying, why don't you come and straight the dogs? Da, 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 da. Thankfully, this mum twigged what was going on and they kind of backed off afterwards. But they made a parting remark about this child having blonde hair, blue eyes, and uh, you could sell that child for a lot of money. So, um, yeah, obviously not good. Which makes taking the kids to the park even more worrying obviously I have quite a few to keep an eye on but I, I am very strict about my little ones not going outside of the the park actual park itself I allow the older ones to go playing on the green but the little ones are not allowed to play on the green not in my care anyway what they do with parents and what have you is totally up to those families but yeah I do not allow it um, unless they're sitting with me under the tree eating food otherwise they're in the park um, but it is a worry because it does only take a second for somebody to whip someone away. So with it being right on our doorstep, just a couple of villages over, I'm going to have to be super, super vigilant. But this message has gone round. The schools um, have all had letters and what have you from what I'm understanding. So fingers crossed there's enough of us that are going to be aware of what's going on and will clock strangers thing is this village has had so many new people move into it with the new houses and everything there's loads of people i don't even recognize um and there's quite a few people that use the park they pull up in the cars the kids come out they play in the, in the park and then they get back in to the car and drive on so they're obviously en route home and stop here in the park to play so yeah that's not good news but wherever you go there's going to be weirdos isn't there it's going to be weirdos oh it sounds like harrison is awake and i'm not sure he's going to give me 20 minutes <laughs> to just sit and read oh well oh well tomorrow's my day off so i'll get off and go do my job <laughs> that's not really looking like park weather is it if i'm entirely honest It's disgusting out there. Needless to say, we haven't gone to the park. I've got three of them watching telly in the living room. And three of them in here with me. Actually, that's a lot. I've got four of them watching telly and three of them in here with me. Can you see me? Baby! Baby! Baby, that's right! Pippa, baby, boo, baby, Pippa, yes, baby, uh oh, are you okay? It's that time of the week. I'm gonna do mine today rather than Sunday which is when I've been doing it because I've got this cold coming on. You need your baggy. Where's your baggies? You've got your baggies out. And so you've got everything you need Mr. beforehand. Here's your baggy. There you go. But yeah because I'm feeling rubbish I thought I'll test a bit early this week. They are saying twice a week for people with kids, but, well, you know, secondary age kids. But they haven't had a positive case at school yet, so. Um, They've had many at school. No, they haven't. Yeah? No, they said they haven't had a positive case since they're coming back. Oh, yeah, since coming back. Those that, family that tests together stays together. <laughs> I like a little chemist there. Science experiment. All right, there's my baggie. That's my baggie. Oh, 
I do not feel good at all right now. Prematurely. Yes. Thank you for your early blessing. <laughs> oh. You make me sound like a priest. <laughs> Thanks for the early blessing. Ah, oh, smell my eyes water. I don't see any line popping up at the moment. <laughs> what control line? Yeah. Or test line? Uh, control. I don't know. Which what, C or T? Control is C. Oh, hold on. C. Control line is the one you want, test line is the one you don't want. Well, if you don't want, you don't want both of them. Yeah. There's you, a test. you need the control line, otherwise you have to redo it. But you don't want the test. It's double, double, isn't it, if you have it? You get two lines. Then, yeah. Then we're in isolation, buddy. I, I don't mind that. All of us will be isolating. It's ten days now if it's if you got it. We don't have to go to school though. Oh. You will have to learn from home though. How? They'll go send me stuff. I can do the homework, but that's about it. Yeah, no, they will send you stuff. That's how they do it now. No getting out of school that easy, I'm afraid. He'll do it really quickly though. Because remember, uh, not. The last time we just had the one before that, I did all my work quite quickly. But what did the teachers say, the parents do you think? What was the one thing they said you had to do? I don't know. Take your time. Yeah. Don't rush. That's exactly what your uh, food tech teacher said as well. Yeah, I can see a very faint control line. Right, I'm going to put my name on mine. You put, well, you put my initial on mine. Put your initial on yours and come back in half an hour. Initial it. Let's get rid of our disgusting stuff and wash my hands and start on the food. Dinner time. Ugh. Uh. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Sub to Genesect Gamer. <laughs> Said put his name on it. Nothing can, nothing can stop me from plugging. Right, can you put those in the black bin, please? I don't know, can I? I don't know. Can you? <laughs> Can go and I just told him off because he was prematurely eating his food before the camera came out. Go on then. This is today's dinner, loaded wedges. Loaded wedges with lots of... I think Mexican loaded wedges. Me Mexican wedges. Mm. Mm. Nice. Is that mm. a happy face? Mm. Okay. Right. I took most of the peppers because he doesn't like peppers. Let's find a wedge that's on, on the edge. A wedge on the edge. Wedge on the edge. That the won't veg. burn me. With the veg that won't burn me. Mmm. Yep. It's like chili and chips. It is chili and chips. Chili and chips. Did you see that flower? Thomas bought me that this morning from his garden. Wasn't that nice? Right, that's it. My test was clear, so it is just a cold, which is good to hear. Mackenzie's test was clear, which is good to hear. There's a lot of rhyming going on this evening. I am feeling pretty rubbish though, so I'm going to make a cup of tea, get showered, get some pyjamas on, and get into my bed. Oh, and Lee bought chocolate, so I can have tea and chocolate. Oh, and it's re Resident Alien Night tonight as well. So that would be good, because I love that show. Anyway, tomorrow's going to be a lazy, lazy day. I haven't got the van anyway. Lee's got the van, so I can't go anywhere. I think I'll just have a PJ day, puzzles, a bit of housework. Take it easy. 
Thanks for watching, you lovely lot. I'll see you all tomorrow.